going to start off today with some balance on my amazing balance beams, my tape. So mom and dad, if you have tape you can put on the floor or even um, a long towel or a long blanket just to make a line on the floor. Or maybe you have tile like this and you can just use that as your line. And what I want you to do is we're going to practice our balance by walking heel to toe on the line. So we're going to go forward. Then we're going to be really tricky and go backwards. You got to go slowly. Stay on the line. Let's see if I can do it. All right, and then we're going to walk on all fours, on hands and feet, but on the line. So you got to put your hands in front of you like this and keep your feet on the line like a cat. I got off. All right, and then go backwards. All the way to the back. All right, now one more thing. Get a book, and let's see if you can balance a book on your head while you stay on your line. I wonder if I can get all the way to the end and not drop the book. Let's see if I can do it. I did it, now I gotta go backwards. This is the hard part. Oh! Let's see. Are you doing it? Are you staying on the line? You should see if your mom and dad can do it too. I did it! See how many times you can go back and forth? without falling off the line. See you at the table. Okay friends, today we're gonna make jellyfish out of coffee filters. I'm gonna explain everything you need in just a second. There's two kinds of jellyfish that we could make depending on what shape coffee filter you have. So it really doesn't matter which shape, it's just is either gonna turn out like this one or it'll turn out like this one. Okay, what you're gonna to need to make your jellyfish are some coffee filters. Three would be, would give you the biggest jellyfish. You could also make it if you just had two. You'll need coffee filters, some markers, any kind of markers, highlighters even work if that's all you can find. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a paper plate or paper towel. And then here's the fun part, you need water. You can either use a bowl, a small bowl of water or a small cup of water, or if you have one of these handy, something that you can, you can use to pull water up into like an eyedropper and then drop it out. So have your parents help you find your supplies and meet me back at the table. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna color a coffee filter. So flatten it out and I'm gonna put a paper plate under mine just in case my marker wants to come through and mark up my table. So there's my coffee filter. Now I can pick any colors I want. I like bright colors so I'm gonna pick orange, pink, green, let's see I'll say, I think I'm going to use these colors. I'm not even sure if all my markers work. And I'm just going to color half of my coffee filter. We're going to do a couple different things. So I'm going to draw a, line, a squiggly line down. You can make any design that you want. I think I'm going to try this pink. I'm going to do some circles. That. I'm going to do some triangles. It's really just about getting color onto your coffee filter. And then I think I'm going to do some letters. I'm going to write my name. And then just go do some more circles, I think, just to fill it in. 
So you can do whatever design you want. Okay. So this one I just colored half of it. So now I'm going to fold it in half. Uh oh, it's a good thing I used a plate, huh? Look at that, it would have gone on my table. And I'm gonna fold it in half again. And one more time. Now, I'm gonna show you the method for using a bowl or a cup of water. What you do is coffee filters are very um, special. If you just get the bottom wet, it's gonna, it's gonna, the water's gonna move all the way up to the top if you wait long enough. So I'm gonna put my coffee filter, you can already see it moving, oh, it went so fast, moving all the way up to the top. You might wanna use less water than I did, but since you can see it growing, see it moving, it's gonna work its way all the way up to the top. There it goes. Kinda looks like a flower or a butterfly wing. There's a lot of crafts you can make with these coffee filters. In fact, parents, it's, if, if, you're, if your child doesn't really like to tr practice letters, coffee filters are a great, a great way to practice because you can practice letters and then melt them with the water. And then when they dry, you can make something pretty out of it. So watch this. Now I'm opening it up. There we have it. That's gonna go into my jellyfish, but I have to let it dry. So I'm just gonna set it over here. And I'm going to get another paper plate that's stuck together to protect my table. Or you could use a paper towel or a real plate because the marker will come off the real plate. Just ask your parents. So now I'm gonna do it a different way. I'm going to color the whole thing with, with even brighter colors. I wonder if I have the yellow. Let's see, I do, I wonder if it works. Let's see. Oh, yellow in the middle. I think I'm gonna do rainbow colors, but not in order. I would've had to start with red. I'm gonna do orange around my yellow. And then, some green. Then I'm gonna do some darker. I think I'm gonna do purple, but I'm gonna do the whole alphabet. I'm gonna do A, B, I wonder if I can fit it. C, D, E, F. G, H, I, I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to fit it, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, uh oh, V, Come right here. W, X, Y, Z. So I didn't plan that very well because my letters didn't fit. So now I'm gonna add some more color in between my green and my purple. I think I'm gonna do pink. I'm just gonna do spots. darker, a little more orange just to fill it in because I want this one to be super colorful. A little more yellow and then we're going to melt the letters. If you have an eyedropper like me, this is actually, it, it's not stevia, it's just a stevia bottle, it's just water. But if you have one, the way it works is when you pull it out, it's empty. There's no water. So you have to pinch, hold it, pinch, 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 put it down, let go, 
and then pull it up without pinching. And you see my water? So I'm gonna try and melt letter A. So I'm gonna very gently squeeze it to let a little bit of water come out. Oh, it's melting! Oh, it got my V. I'm gonna do B and C and D. You see how they're melting away? Sometimes it's fun to melt, write sentences and melt them too. Melting all the letters. Uh oh. Well, I had to make my silly dog stop barking. Now I'm back. So I'm going to keep melting my letters. You can see how the water keeps spreading, it's going all the way down into the center. And keep melting, melting. Melting. I can't wait to see your creations. Thank you so much to your moms and dads for sending me pictures. It's so exciting to see how you are all working so well at home. Gonna melt J, I. All right. So, here's my other one that I made. It's been drying. See how pretty that's coming out? This one. So, what you have to do now is you have to set aside your, your work and let it dry and get completely dry. So, if I take mine off my plate and hang it over something, it'll dry faster. But you ask your mom and dad how they want you to dry your coffee filters. So, once they're dry, Meet me back here and I'll show you the next step. All right, so now that your coffee filters are dry, look at my plate. I wonder if yours did that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it into the jellyfish. So first thing you're gonna do, and you don't have to have a paper plate, you don't even have to use paper towel. I just put mine, I just put one inside to make this more sturdy. So if you want to do that, you'll take your paper plate and start anywhere you want to on the edge and cut straight across like this. So some of you might need help with this. If you do, just ask. Okay. <clears throat> and then you want to cut off the curve. If your plate has a curved part like mine, you want to cut that off too. So if you need help with this part, ask mom and dad. And mom and dad, if you help them with this, to give practice cutting, have your child just snip little pieces just for practice cutting. Snip, snip. It helps with hand strengthening too because this paper plate, you have to work a little bit to get it to cut through. Snip, snip. And it makes a mess, but that's okay. We can clean it up. And you're done. All right, so that's it. cutting. Now this next part of cutting, mom and dad will probably need to do this for all of my students, because it's pretty tricky. What you have to do, what we're gonna make are these long squiggly legs, or tentacles. What you have to do is you start on one coffee filter and you cut around. I'm sorry about my barking dogs. You cut around and around. I could almost use this for my blooper video at the end, but I'm not going to. Cut around and around. And just keep going in a circle. So if you have extra coffee filters, you can show your child how you're doing this and they can practice on one themselves and maybe they can learn how to do it. It's just a little tricky because there's no line to follow. Okay, so if you use three coffee filters, if you colored three and you have three, then what you'll do is you'll take this and you'll cut it in half so that you can have two legs. And then you'll take another coffee filter I'll do this one and cut that one too. So I'm gonna do it super fast. 
Okay, so I did all my cutting. So now the pieces you should have, you should have four tentacles or more if you made more. And if you want to put the hard piece in, you'll have your, your paper plate and one whole coffee filter. So what you're going to do is you're going to glue it sh like this. So <clears throat> you put your paper plate in the middle and you put some glue all along the edge of your paper plate to start because you're going to take your tentacles and put them down one at a time. My dogs are being very naughty. Recon. Like this and this. This can be known as the video of the barking jellyfish. Okay. And you glue it, glue it, glue it. Fold it over. Press it down. And cover your glue. And look. All done. So I hope you had fun making a jellyfish. And if you hang it in a window, the light catches it and it looks really pretty. See you next time. For this next activity, you're going to need a Ziploc bag, duct tape if you have it, or some sort of tape just to reinforce the zipper. And then I'm gonna use soft soap, but you could use hair gel or um, even jelly, anything you want. I'm using the soap because I can reuse it. It's easy to use soap out of a bag. So we're gonna make a really fun little sensory bag. Very simply, you're gonna open it up. So I want your child to practice that. Opening it up like this. And then you flip open the top or open your container however, and squeeze in about a quarter of the way full. So maybe not a quarter, about that much, it's usually enough. And then you zip it shut, and I want your child to do this part so you can show them if they need help, you can help them. Zip it shut almost all the way, but then you want to get the air out. So make sure you leave a little opening. And this is good practice for when your children learn to put away their cereal, they should get the air out. So now, it's sealed and I just want to make sure because I don't want it to spill out of my bag. I want it to stay shut. So I'm going to take a piece of duct tape. A little longer than the bag. And just seal it shut a little bit better than if it didn't have the duct tape on it already. Okay, so now I have this really cool bag that I can squish around. You can even put, if you have glitter or any little beads or even um, little fluff balls you can put inside and you can move the objects around in the bag. So you can, practice, you can just do it for fun or you can make shapes or you can even try and make letters in it with your finger. There's letter A. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this bag. It feels good. It can be for calming down if you're having a hard moment. You can get your bag out and just sort of play with it and press on it, take deep breaths. So just play with it, have fun, and I'll see you next time. It's time for more fun with jellyfish. We are going to draw a jellyfish. This is one of my favorite things to draw because jellyfish are kind of like big blobs with these long tentacles. So however your jellyfish turns out, it's probably gonna look like a jellyfish. So I'm going to just use close to the same colors that I did here to make it easier for you to see. 
So the first thing I did is I drew this big blob, like his main body part. And most jellyfish, if not all, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on them, but they don't really have eyes and a mouth. I just thought it was cute, so I gave him some. So what I did is I just took a crayon and I just did a blob like this, just a shape. And then I gave him some <clears throat> little scallops here on the end this and a different color. Jellyfish, when you see them in the ocean, are almost see-through or some of them look like they're like they have lights in them almost even though they don't. So you can make your jellyfish look however you want. Plus I always say when you're doing art, just make it how you want to look. So I want to give my jellyfish eyes because this is more like a cartoon fish and a little mouth. And then I'm going to color that in. I do a light, see how I'm doing it lightly? I'm not pressing hard. I just do it real light, kind of color on the side of the crayon almost. And I keep it steady in my hand right there. So pinch the end. And color it in. Because I used a darker color for his eyes, if I color over it, it you can't even tell. It's a little trick I do, so I don't have to color around the eyes. Okay, so there's his face and his body. Now we get to do these fun, long tentacles. So I'm going to use, I think I'll use purple and blue, but you can use any color you want. And I'm going to draw long tentacles, all wavy, like that, and like this. And then I'm going to color them in. I'm going to do circles. See if you can do that. See if you can do it in circles, 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 circles. You know, my circle, if I go outside the line, it's okay because I can just color right over it again. It's the fun part about drawing the jellyfish, coloring the jellyfish, is that it, you can't really make a mistake. You just color back over it. See, like I just did, I'm going to go around. Go one more and if I'm going too fast just pause the video and voila we're gonna need Look lined at paper and a pencil now we have been working on the alphabet with each other five or six letters at a time but today we're gonna write the whole alphabet so we're going to do it together and when you're all done, I promise to have some funny dog bloopers as a little reward for doing all of your letters. So let's start with A. Start at the top, big line down, hop back up, big line down, and a little line across. We're just going to do capital letters, the big ones today. The next one, start at the top, we're going to make B. Big line down, hop back up, one little curve and another little curve, and I never take my hand up, my pencil off the paper when I make the curves. Next letter is C. Start at the top and make a big curve. D. Start at the top, make a big line down, hop back up and make a big curve to the bottom. E, my favorite letter. 
big line down, jump to the top, make one little line, go to the middle, another little line, and to the bottom. Look at that, letter E. And then F, start at the top, make a big line down, hop to the top, make a little line across, go to the middle, make a little line across. What's next? G, start at the top, make a big curve, come up, and then give it a little top. H, start at the top, big line down, hop to the top, big line down, and a little line to connect the two. I, start at the top, make a big line down, give him a hat and some feet. J, start at the top, big line down, curve up, and give him a hat. K, now K is one of the trickiest letters, but I owe a lot of practice because it's my first name starts with K. So, I start at the top, make a big line down, and then I'm gonna hop all the way over here and I'm not gonna take my pencil off the paper. I'm gonna go in and out, just like that. And then next letter is L, start at the top, make a big line down and go across. M, start at the top, go big line down, hop to the top, go down, up, down. And N, start at the top, big line down, Jump back up, down, up. Letter O, looks like a big circle. Start at the top and go all the way around. P, start at the top, make a big line down, hop back up, give it a little curve. Q, start at the top, go all the way around and give him a little line. R. R is another tricky one, so pay attention. Start at the top, big line down, and then I'm not going to take my pencil off for the next move. Go back to the top. Go a little curve and a line. S. Start at the top, go up, round, down, and over. T. Start at the top, big line down, and a hat. U, start at the top, slide down and up. V, start at the top, I'm going to go down and up like that with a nice sharp point at the bottom. W, W goes down, up, down, up. X, start at the top, go down, hop back up and down. Y, this one's a little tricky too, because you start at the top, make a line halfway down, and then hop over here and connect it. And Z, start at the top, go across, down, and across. So there's my whole alphabet. If you need help with letters, ask mom and dad. And mom and dad, it's totally okay, especially for our beginning learners. This letter is tricky. This one's tricky, this one's tricky, this one can be tricky, this one, oop, I almost forgot about this guy. These two are hard sometimes to differentiate this curve and that, that, um, that point. W can be tricky and these two. So, it's, it's totally okay if we're struggling with these, just do hand over hand and lots of extra practice. Anybody want some peanut butter? Anybody want some peanut butter? Mm, who wants some peanut butter? Peanut butter. See you next time.